So as soon as the weather becomes warm and we hit spring, we have a new electric motorcycle video coming up. So check the electric motorcycle playlist for a surprise. We'll have a surprise on that video. Also, don't forget to click on our sponsors and we have a giveaway running right now. So check that out. Now, today's video will show you how to fold by using folding at home. So the first thing you gotta do is go to your web browser and type folding.stanford.edu and there you'll see what if you could help find a cure. Help Stanford University scientists studying Alzheimer's, Huntington's, Parkinson's and many cancers by simply running a piece of software on your computer. The problems we're trying to solve require so many calculations we have to ask people to donate their unused computer power to crunch some of the numbers. In just five minutes, add your computer to over 183,000 others around the world, outputting 48,000 teraflops of computer power to form the world's largest distributed supercomputer. Step one, download protein folding simulation software called Folding.com, like we're doing right now. Step two, run the installation. The software will automatically start up and open a web browser with your control panel. Step 3, follow the instructions to start folding or click on the site to run folding at home directly in your web browser with Google Chrome. Stanford University will send your computer a folding problem to solve. Then when your first job is completed, your computer will swap the results for a new job. Now what is protein folding? Proteins are biologists work horses, it's nanomachines. Proteins help your body break down food into energy, regulate your moods and fight disease. Before proteins can carry out these important functions, they assemble themselves or fold. While protein folding is critical and fundamental to virtually all of biology, much of the process remains a mystery. When proteins do not fold correctly or misfolding happens, there can be serious health consequences, including many well-known diseases such as Alzheimer's, mad cow, CJD, ALS, AIDS, Huntington's, Parkinson's, disease, and many cancers. If we better understand protein misfolding, we can design drugs and therapies to combat these illnesses. Now, how can you help right now? Start folding by downloading and running the free folding at home software from Stanford University. Once installed, the software runs behind the scenes using otherwise unused computing time. Your computer's calculations provide Stanford University with valuable data for the research into protein folding. You'll get feedback along the way and you want it, or if you can just let it run, you might not even notice how much work is going on. Every computer we add gets us closer to the cures. Now, this is the folding software. You can fold anonymously, or you can choose to create an identity. Right now we're using the name Zero and we're gonna join team number 226300. That is quantumfilms.com. So that's our team. If you wanna join our team, just put your name in there and join team number 226300. That's quantumfilms.com. That's us. So right now all the processors are ready to start folding the CPU and three graphic processing units. I support research fighting and we can choose what this is. We're gonna choose uh, cancer. All the GPUs start, they're getting ready, they're starting folding. We're gonna choose cancer, but you can choose Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, um, Huntington's, it's up to you. So we're starting cancer. Now this is the basic web interface. It's internet interface, but if you go to the uh, controls, the advanced control, you, you have more flexibility. You can choose which processors or which uh, graphing processing units will um, fold. You want to use the CPU, all three GPUs, maybe one GPU, maybe two GPUs. Right now we we'll stop in the CPU so we can do other things and fold in the background. So we can use the CPU for uh, web browsing, uh, checking YouTube, checking your email, etc. Right now we have three graphic processing units. Two graphic processing units belong to one card and one graphic processing unit belongs to another. So this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna 
uh, stop using two graphic processing units and we're gonna let the CPU uh, just be free of any processing right now any folding so the folding is gonna be done only by one graphic processing unit okay this is full load for the computer well what we're gonna do is we can run a website we can run YouTube now let's change the the graphic user interface to Aero so we can run the internet YouTube we can run a video game and still process the folding in the background this is uh, the viewer the protein viewer will show us what we're doing we will render it in a graphic way we can see what we're doing what we're crunching and we can see who else is folding around the world this is the folding at home 3d visualization window okay so let's uh, pause these other two gpus that belong to one uh, graphics card and you need to have crossfire x or sli uh, deactivated so the cards can run independent of each other so right now we can play a video game we can surf the web we can watch videos we, you can do everything you you want and this is helpful when you have two two graphic cards or more so you can use one gpu for folding and the other gpu you can still use for gaming so you can actually work this out for a to your advantage and when you're not surfing the web in this case we're going to 00x.com you see it runs perfectly uh, there's no lag uh, it, the, the folding doesn't ruin your uh, bandwidth because it just sent the data once so your computer can start crunching the numbers and start folding and do the calculations and once it's finished it sends the results back to Stanford so folding at home sends you another piece of data that you have to solve so right now we can play the video games and all that without any problem without any lag and then you're folding the background once you're not doing anything you can activate those gpus again and act even the cpu activate the cpu and run it on medium light or full capacity if you're going to sleep you can let all those processors do the the crunching do the folding and go to sleep you can also click on your name the zero the donor and you can see how many points you have achieved how many work have you contributed in this case quantifields.com 226300 or number Mozilla, there's Taiwan, the Patriots, all of that. You can, you can see where they, um, where you have contributed. So in a general way, you can see where you uh, stand compared to others that have fault as well. So you can choose an identity, choose where your uh, name has created points. If you want, you can, you get points. It's a way of rewarding you for folding it kind of it gives you an idea or it helps you keep track of how much you have helped you can also go one step further and get your identity even more um, specific by asking for a passkey so that way you know which zero you are or what which user you you actually are by having that passkey um, it's, it's unnecessary but a lot of people like we started folding anonymously so Choosing an identity just help you keep track of what you're folding and which what teams. So remember, our team is 226300. If you want to help us find a cure to cancer, just join our team and uh, we'll be very glad you did. So that was how you fold with folding at home. We're checking at the menu on the taskbar. You can uh, you have a, a couple of options. So that's how you fold with folding at home. I hope this video is very useful for you and it's very useful out there. Please uh, join our team. Peace and I'm out.